Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well, today I'm wearing my new Red Claw shirt, uh, the NQ Red Claw Yabbies Australia Facebook uh, shirt. I'll just give you guys a look at it. Um, uh, looks pretty flash, don't you think? Nice and bright. So we've got pink for the girls, we've got blue for the boys, and we've got this brownie green color, which uh, is very, very popular. Now, in this video, we're going to, to be reporting on what the Red Claw are doing. There, there's a whole stack of Red Claw being caught, and we're going to report that right now, what they're catching them on, how they're catching them. I hope you really, really enjoy this video, guys. Stuart bought two of our river pots, and he went to a location, a creek up in Townsville area, a one-hour soak caught all these red claw in our river pots. Uh, he was using dog biscuits and it's only a one hour soak up in the Townsville area. The creeks are flowing and the red claw are definitely on the move after recent rains. So get onto Google Maps and have a look at likely spots and go exploring guys and find your own uh, red claw spots because they are red hot at the moment up in Townsville. Well done, Stuart. That is a great effort. Great catch of Red Claw. Dwayne also caught these Red Claw in the Townsville area. Well done, Dwayne. And Glenn caught these Red Claw at Somerset Dam is going off at the moment. He caught them on uh, dry dog biscuits, pumpkin, rock melon, and the odd inclusion is sunlight soap. Now I've used that as a kid when I was catching a lot of shrimps. The yellow sunlight soap uh, does work really well. Well done Glenn, that is a fantastic haul. Two buckets a day at Somerset Dam. Jasmine went to Barumba Dam and caught these good red claw. Now she has bought two red claw river pots um, and look out, she's going to catch so many with the river pots like everybody else is doing. Lenny went to Calloy Dam, the home of the biggest red claw in Queensland. If you haven't seen that huge 57 centimeter specimen, check it out on my other videos, guys. Well done, Lenny, that's a great capture. And here is Steve from Calloy Retreat, and he has been catching a lot of red claw in the original heavy duty pots. Check out all these red claw that he's been catching up at Calloy Dam, home of the big red claw. And this is Cosimo. Um, a little while ago, she caught a hundred red claw in the river red claw pots. Now, if you haven't got your river red claw pots, guys, send me an order right now. Uh, they are catching so many and they are priced right. Check out at these magic Fantastic sunrises. Mark went to BP Dam, but Jocker Peterson Dam. Mark said there were 40 pots in the Jocker Peterson Dam and nobody was catching anything, but he had the secret weapon, which was our river red claw pots, and he caught red claw when nobody else was. That is fantastic. Mark, well done. Mark even caught a good feed of yellow belly. On Mother's Day, Danny took his mum to North Pine Dam and check out what they caught. Hey, do you think we got any in this yabby trap? I Not as many as the other one, but still. 
Not a bad hole. So these are the creeks you're looking for. Have a look on Google Maps and go exploring and find some really good spots like this and you'll catch good red claw in them. And uh, be adventurous and try new baits and mix your baits together. Don't be afraid not to mix them together. If you have pumpkin and sweet potato, rock melon, dog biscuits all mixed in the one pot, you're going to catch more. Even the freshwater catfish or sardines works well too. And when you catch the red claw and you are preparing them to cook, just make sure the meat's not orange or yellow because that would indicate stagnant water. You don't want to eat red claw that are in stagnant water. The flesh needs to be a clean white colour. Even if it has blood through the meat, I would also disregard that as well. It's not worth taking the risk, guys. And here is Angela. Just to prove the girls can keep us boys honest, check out these massive red claw that Angela has got. Great red claw there, Angela. Well done. Now, Angela's also a good cook and uh, she has worked with us and a few other members to bring you guys some really different and interesting uh, recipes for Red Claw. So jump on to the recipe cooking uh, playlist and check them out guys and you might see something different you haven't tried before or a different way you haven't cooked them before. And here is David. David has boiled them and good presentation if you want to impress people that are coming over to cook them up this way. Most common way of cooking red claw is to boil them from three to five or maximum eight minutes. I wouldn't go any more than eight minutes, it makes them too tough. But you can batter them like in this photo here and you can try them and cook them a few different ways. Bruce sent in this cool photograph of a yabby mailbox. How would you like one, folks? And this is Jamo. He is wearing his uh, Red Claw shirt. Uh, now, if you want a Red Claw shirt, here are the colours. There's a brownie green, uh, there's a blue, and there is also a pink for the girls. Denise and Gary wearing their group shirts. Don't they look flash? So if you would like your club shirts, send me an email and we'll order some for you. So please guys support this competition. $29 to enter the Red Claw Yabby's Masters. And um, the two groups that you'll need to join is the SEQ Red Claw and Outdoors. Um, you'll see all the prizes on that page. Uh, and the NQ Red Claw Yabbies Australia Facebook group. So these two page, these two groups here are the ones that you need to join. And join them both. And uh, if you're a member of one of the groups, not the other, um, make a point to join both groups so you get a double fix of Red Claw fishing action. And please stay tuned for our next videos when I endeavour to teach poor old Norm who sucks at catching Red Claw to teach him actually how to catch a stack of them. I'd like a challenge and the challenge is set and I am going to teach Norm how to catch a stack of Red Claw with our river pots. So stay tuned for those exciting videos and besides we have to fill out SS Red Claw. Well, if you really enjoyed this video, please smash that like button so it tells YouTube to send it to more like-minded people. Also, consider uh, subscribing to my channel, guys. And if you've got a lot out of this video, please consider smashing uh, or clicking on that super thanks or the thanks button just below on the bottom of the video description uh, next to the share button because that really does help me out a great deal guys I really do need your help and support right now until next uh, video stay safe This is Fisherman Steve D. God bless <laughs>